Well, hey gang, today we're going to do a riff that I really loved from when I was in high school. ACDC's Have a Drink on Me. We're going to do the riff and what he's doing in the chords there. And there's not a lot to this, but it's really one of the all time cool licks so, or riffs. So let's do it, all right? Hey, as always, if you like this one, click the thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, subscribe for one of these, actually a couple of these, every week. All right, see you in just a second. All right, gang. Uh, let's go over this in some detail. First things first, you can download the tab from the link in the description. Might make your life a little bit easier. Second thing is the sound. Now, I'm obviously using a Les Paul. I'm playing out of the bridge position. If you got an SG, perfect, right? Okay. Um, on the amp, I'm using sort of a classic Marshall type amp and uh, amp sound. And um, I've got the gain at about six. You don't want to use too much gain. Um, uh, you definitely don't want to use any distortion pedals above the, the preamp gain. Um, anyway, just use a decent amount of gain, but not too much. Uh, and I just have a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of reverb. No pedals. Angus used a pretty pure uh, sound, guitar sound. And you want to keep it that way, okay? Not too much gain. All right, now let's go to the riff itself. Okay, so this is in A. It's in the key of A, so everything you're going to see is basically going to be centered around A minor pentatonic sort of licks, <clears throat> A minor pentatonic sort of riffs. The two main uh, things you need to know are both pretty simple. The first one is this. That's one. And the second one is this. that, I won't say that's totally it because there's a little neat little things that are added in, but that's pretty close to it. All right, now we will go through all the chords, but I want to show you those licks first. Now, of course, the beginning doesn't start out exactly on one of those licks. It starts kind of in the middle of one of those licks. It starts out with this. I love that. I love how they do that, how they did that. This idea of letting that just ring out, and you can see there's a little vibrato. So anyway, what is that? We'll start learning that, this, that lick anyway. That is a slide up to, on the third string, we're sliding up to the ten, uh, ninth fret, and then on the second string, we're hitting the eighth fret. We're letting them both ring at the same time. So you want to start out like this. But of course, you want to give it a little vibrato, if you can, and, and let that vibrate. You don't want to give it a ton of vibrato, but just give it a little bit, and don't let it stop, okay? Think about trying to wring out every little bit of energy from the guitar out of that lick, okay? So kind of like this. If when you think you're done, you trail it off, okay? So that's the opening piece. Now, of course, then it slides into the lick itself. So it goes this. And then we do our regular lick. So what is that lick? Well, um, since it's in the key of A, Angus is using the open fifth string a lot in this one, and he's dampening it, deadening the string with his right hand a lot. So we're using a lot of string damping with our right hand on that bridge. Okay, so the first thing is this. Sorry, let me do that again. All right. So with that, we're chunking, damping the uh, fifth string as we, as we hit, and just keep that steady beat on the fifth string. And we're playing two chords. The first chord is open 5-5 five, five on the strings 5, 4, and 3. So like, sit, like this. But it's not just that. We're actually going to hammer on on the third string from the 5 to the 6th. So it sounds like this. like that, right? Okay, so that's the first one. And then the second one is just a D chord with an A bass. So it's an open A and then 7-7 seven, seven on 5, 4, and 3. Okay? So let's play that nice and slowly. It goes like this. All right? If we get that, then we're going to play our first lick, which is just a slide up to the, uh, up to the 9. 
and then the eight on the second, right? All right, very straightforward, very bluesy sort of example on this one. So slide up to the nine on the third string, play the eighth, again, letting it ring, and then a very quick slide, and a pull off to the five. So slide down to the seven, pull off to the five, play the seven on the fourth string, and then play this. Now what that is, is a little double stop. Now you can just play the third string, but if you play the third and second, it sounds good. Seven and seven. And then you play the third string fifth fret and tweak it up just a little bit, maybe an eighth or a quarter. All right. Let's put the whole thing together. So you play that a few times, and when you're coming out of it, the second time and the third time around, you're playing this. Okay, so what is that? So that is simply, that's a power chord, right? That's a C power chord. So we're playing... Um, the third string, the fifth string, third fret, and the fourth string, fifth fret. Then they open again, open fifth, and then a power chord A. So that's just open five, uh, second fret on the third, second fret on the fourth. All right, then. An interesting thing transpires, okay? So then we play the second riff, and this is a really cool riff, really simple, actually. It simply goes like this. All right, so that is the open A, and you're playing this. On the, you're playing the open fifth string, and on the fourth string, you're playing. So that's five, four, five, five, four, five, seven, five, four, five, five, four, five, seven. And what you're doing is you're playing that over a changing bass line. Okay, so the bass line is going from A, it starts out with an A. Then it goes to a G. Then it goes to a D. playing the same thing the whole time through. You're playing. All right. Let me show you how that sounds. I recorded kind of a cheesy backing track, but it should show you uh, what's happening here. Now, if I can remember the tempo here, let me see if I can get it right. All right. So we're going to play it over an A and I'll tell you what's going on. It starts with A. Here we go. What's going on there is really cool. It's sort of like a pedal note, and it's it's so simple. It's genius, right? So you're just playing the same riff, but it works over all of those chords. So like I said, it starts over an A chord. Then it goes to a G chord. And by the way, I'm just playing a little G chord right there. And then to a D chord, and then finally to end it, it goes D, F, G, and then have a drink on me. All right, 
So, you know, that's, that's about it. If you can get those two licks down, uh, you just kind of have to listen to what the chord changes are happening, uh, are playing around you, and, and just kind of groove with the music, man. I mean, there's just really a couple of, uh, a couple of riffs there. All right, gang, ACDCs have a drink on me. Gotta love that riff. <laughs> we'll see you on down the road.